Roger Daltrey video coming up, but right here's some music news. Howard Jones kicked off the second leg of his American tour tonight at the James Knight Center in Miami, Florida. This is uh, Hojo returning once again with a band, and his group includes Howard's brother, Martin Jones, on bass, and three, uh, three women backing vocal group who call themselves the Aphrodisiacs. Jed Hoyle, the mime who accompanied Howard when he was performing as a solo musician, continues to tour with Howard. Now he has confirmed dates through October 30th when he wraps up with two nights at LA's Universal Amphitheater. The support act for the entire tour, Marshall Crenshaw. And the Dream Academy is a new British band who've just released their debut U.S. album. Guitarist and vocalist Nick Laird Clues told us about one of the band's major influences, the late British singer-songwriter Nick Drake. I always listened to his lyrics. He was a very romantic figure, wrote very, very brilliant lyrics, I thought. And he played folk music, but he also used classical musicians and jazz musicians of the time to augment his sound, which was very interesting, I think, as um, he was mainly a sort of folk songwriter. They also went on to say that another, another one of their great influences are the fab for the Beatles. Concert date information right here, out on the road, dire straits. Let's see, we have six dates starting off in Maine and winding up at Brendan Byrne Arena in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Within 15 minutes, a song that Pete Townsend wrote for his ex-bandmate, Roger Daltrey. <laughs> 